Hi friends, Cole Chance here. And today I just wanted to do some lazy hip stretches. So we'll just lay on our back, um, grab a strap, a belt, a scarf, something of that nature, and I'll see you, meet you on your back. So, yeah. Sometimes you just want to kind of roll around on your mat. So we'll do that today, but we'll do it productively. Let's start with the feet at, on the edge of the mat. Let the knees fall in together, and we'll just take a moment to check in. Take a moment to get grounded. Feel all points of contact that are touching the earth. The feet, maybe the knuckles, elbows, shoulders, hips, back and head. Breathe into that support. So when you inhale, not only is your belly chest rising, but it's also pressing down into the ground, so you can feel it in 360 degrees. You can feel the rib cage expand north, south, east, and west. Let's bring the feet together now. Knees wide. Baddha Konasana, Supta Baddha Konasana. Let's have a gentle opening here. Staying conscious of your in-breath, out-breath. So we're just gonna move slow. We hold a lot of emotion in our hips. So I want you to focus on the breath. We'll get into a pose, but I want you to be thinking more about the breath, staying connected with that. Close the knees up like a book. Let's take the right leg long, pull the left knee, in towards the chest. Let's see if you can just kind of take a, some circles with the left hip. Just small, a little bit of movement. And now grab your strap. And we're going to take it over the left foot and start to pull down. So it's like a half happy baby. You may be able to grab your foot, but straps are really nice to use. So the knee will be coming down outside the chest. We're kicking up into the strap the same time the strap's pulling down, so you have some activation. So let's do this for a moment. The low back should be coming down onto the ground. We have an active pose right here, and then release. So the only action is pulling down in with the strap, pulling down the foot. One more inhale here. Exhale. Straighten the leg. Keep the strap. Flex the foot. We get into the hamstrings here. So the heel is going straight up, as if you could stamp the heel onto the ceiling. Even if you can come farther this way, we're just gonna work on going straight up right now. Pulling down with the strap is helping to ground the femur bone in. So just stay right here. Notice if the left hip comes up towards the shoulder. Tendency is to, it'll sway the hips to the side. So you can take your thumb into the hip crease and just go doink and put it back down. We're gonna open up to the left. So take the strap in the left hand and take the right hand down towards the side and we're just gonna to start to open up to the left. So maybe your elbow comes down to the ground. Maybe the knee's bent. And maybe your 
right here. It's all good. Different variations of the same theme. One more inhale. Exhale. Start to come back up using the core. Grab the strap with the right hand and plant the left hand down. And we're just going to come to about a 45 degree angle towards the corner of the ceiling, ceiling of the wall. Well, from my perspective. Flex the foot. Again, pulling in as if you're drawing the femur bone into the socket. You can take the thumb back into the hip and pull it down if it's came up. One more inhale here. This is an intense one. And release. Plant the right sole of the foot on the ground. We're going to take the ankle over the thigh, over the right thigh. Lift the right leg up. Start to reach through. Thread the hands through. You can grab for the back of the thigh. You can grab for the front of the knee. So now we're really getting into some relaxed mode right here. So just using the weight of the hands pulling in, drawing in. Find your breath. Stay there, stay with it. Every exhale, see if you can send a little more release into the tension. And when you inhale, envision sending some breath. Breath, release. Take the right sole of the foot down onto the ground. Left sole of the foot down onto the ground. Bring the hands down by the side. We're just going to take a quick rolling bridge here. Inhale, start to lift the hips up all the way so you're resting on the shoulders. And then exhale, start to come back down. So just getting some articulation in the spine. Inhale, start to lift the hips. Exhale, release. Inhale up. And release. Good. Stick the left leg long. Pull the right knee in towards the chest. Maybe take some movement here. Maybe some circles. Maybe just some side to side. And grab the strap and we'll start this little sequence over here. So to take the strap over the foot and start to pull the knee down, the thigh down on the outside of the torso. You can also grab for the foot, whichever feels better. So half happy baby, breathing into sensation. Starting to kick the foot into the strap to straighten the leg. Grab the strap with the right hand or with the left hand, doesn't really matter right here. But what does matter is that we're kicking the heel up into the ceiling and that you're at a 90 degree angle. Notice if the right hip has came up, you can take the thumb and the right hip and bring it back to square. Again, ignite the legs and the heel up. Now take the strap in the right hand and we'll begin to open the hip up to the right. Maybe the elbow comes down, maybe it doesn't. It's all good. Just breathe. Start to lift up. Left hand strap, 45 degree angle. Flex, foot is flexed. Heels shooting out, 
and check in with the hip crease, bring it down. So kind of working all angles here. Another big inhale. When your exhale, start to plant the left foot, bring the ankle over, recline pigeon. Thread the hands through, grab behind the thigh in front of the knee. Use the weight, feel the sensation. Feel the difference. Always noticing, always noticing the little subtleties. Getting to know your body, creating a relationship with your body. And with your mind, where are your thoughts right now? They're easy to wander, so bring them back. Anchor them. Anchor your mind with your breath. Fill up, inhale. Exhale, begin to release. Let's take the soles of the feet wide and we'll windshield wiper, side to side. And do one more stretch here, get into the outer hips. Bring the legs up, both legs up. Take the right leg over the left leg. Bend the knees like you're sitting cross-legged. We're gonna flex the feet, grab at the ankles. Maybe you can grab the outside. And you're pulling apart and down. So you're not just pulling down. You're not just pulling apart, but flex the feet. Make sure they don't sickle. They want to do this. We'll try to keep those flexed and come in. So using the strength of the arms, should be feeling something. Give it three good rounds of breath. You can change hand position, see what feels nice. Whew. One more in and out. Bring the heels down, we'll switch sides. So crossing, flexing the feet, and then finding your grip, your hold. Same thing. It's not the same thing at all, actually. It feels completely different on the other side. But. Mm, anchor down with breath. One more. Breathe into the hips. Breathe into the outer hips. Start to bring the heels down. Bring the legs long. Shake the knees out. Bring the backs of the knees. Slap them against the ground. Bring the legs down. Now wiggle the hips side to side. And then we'll just take a couple moments here. You can leave the legs long. If you'd like to do how we began with the knees in, feet wide, or in Baddha Konasana with the soles of the feet together and the knees wide. It is your prerogative. See what feels good in your body today. And again, feel and check in with all points of contact to the earth, to your mat. Steadiness in the breath. Palms up towards the sky in a gesture of receiving. I invite you to stay here as long as you would like. Thank you so much for showing up for yourself, for letting me be part of your practice, and I will see you next time right here. Namaste.